So what in the world is going on with the real estate market in Jacksonville, Florida? Well, I tell you, if you talk to any of my friends, you would absolutely be under the impression that there's no one out there buying or selling real estate right now. And that could not be farther from the truth. Let's just go ahead and throw the numbers out here. This is for March in Jacksonville, which is Duval County. The median sales price, there is no, prices are not crashing like a lot of people think. The actual median sales price in Jacksonville, Florida is up 1.6% compared to the month before. It's 320,000. I believe, don't quote me on it, last month when I did this market update, the median price was 308,000. Could have been 310, but still it's up 1.6% compared to the month before. The median days on the market has dropped 20%. That means homes are selling a little faster than they were the month prior. It's taken about 38 days on average from the time you list your property to the time it goes under contract. Uh, 1,102 closed sales in the, month of, in the month of March. That's up almost 40%. So is there people buying and selling real estate in Jacksonville? Absolutely. 16.1% of the people who sold their house in the month of March actually sold it for more than list price. That's up 30.8%. And 96.9% .9 sold at asking price. So buyers out there, I mean, they're paying, uh, you know, they're paying listing price or over for the m most part. There was 1,619 new listings that came on the market in March. What's keeping these numbers like they are and what's making them, right, let's just talk about the median sales price here for a second. What's keeping these numbers up is the lack of inventory. Currently, there's a two-month supply of homes for sale, and that's down 25% compared to the month prior. What that means, two-month supply of homes, that means if no one else put a house on the market for sale, it would take the buying public that's out there right now only two months to absorb those houses or to buy them all up. A more balanced or normal market is a six month supply of inventory. So you can tell that we're really still in a seller's market. Buyers, I don't want you to be discouraged. There's still some great deals out there. There's a lot of, a lot of the, what this doesn't reflect is that some sellers are, are contributing to closing costs and offering concessions on other things. So keep that in mind if you're out there looking for a house. And not all houses are getting multiple offers. There's still a large percentage of them that are not getting multiple offers. So you're not out there having to fight for homes like we saw a couple of years ago. Um, interest rates right now for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage, I think uh, are 6.27% is the national average. That's for a conforming loan. And um, yeah, the activity here in Jacksonville is kicking. Um, Cindy and I had two closings this week. We got one next week. We got a lot of interest and a lot of things in the pipeline. There's uh, lots of great land for sale. If you want to buy land and build a home, we can help you with that. Uh, so, and by the way, if you want, if you're in the Jacksonville or anywhere in the Northeast Florida area, and you want to know what your equity position is in your house, what it might sell for in today's market, it's a good time to look at that. You should probably do that at least once every six months or maybe even once a quarter. I'm going to drop a link in the description below where you can get a kind of a broad range of what your house might sell for in today's market. I know that a lot of people aren't listing their homes because if they bought over the last couple of years and they bought at a very low interest rate, why would they want to move up to a higher interest rate to get into another home? So a lot of people are just kind of staying put. And unfortunately, until that changes, I don't think that we're going to see the inventory levels go up uh, to keep up with demand. So all these numbers are either going to stay about level like the median price range, or they may tend to go up unless we see a big spike in interest rates, which will change the demand. My name is Mike Jones, Jacksonville, Florida Realtor. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming videos.